tutorial is brought to you by PostBargain.com, 3D props at bargain prices. There are a huge number of different techniques which you can use to create your concept designs. One of these techniques is to roughly block out a volume shape or a silhouette to start you off. Programs such as Photoshop and Painter are mainly used for this sort of thing amongst digital artists. However, I'm a big fan of Adobe Illustrator and I believe it is an incredibly powerful creation tool even in various stages of concept design. In this video, I'm going to show you some easy and fun tricks to use in Illustrator to aid you in your concept design process. Please note that this is meant for very basic shape forming and will be sticking to side views only. Creating a simple silhouette for your concept design is easy, especially if it's only black and white. All you need to do is use black and white filled shapes and overlap them to get your final shape. Here is a small black filled circle. By making a copy of it, moving it and filling it with white, you get a nice moon shape without the hassle of doing any erasing or subtracting via Pathfinder. Any trimming and merging can be done later if you wish to have just the one object. So, just by layering black and white shapes, you can build yourself a concept silhouette. One of the good things about Illustrator is that once you have a shape, it can easily be reshaped using the pencil tool. Here is a simple blob shape, which will be the body for a fantasy animal silhouette. I want to give it a neck, so with the object selected, I can use the pencil tool to add the neck. It's important that the object is selected first and that you start your new shape on the path of the object. This is the path I drew to add the neck. I also made sure that the end of the stroke ended up flowing along the path of the selected object. This would ensure me that I would always have one object. When you keep doing this, you can add a head, legs, arms and any other body part. Once you get into the rhythm and are capable of drawing out forms quite fast, you will feel like you are sculpting with digital ink. And if you play with the pencil settings, you can change the settings such as the fidelity to give you more refined detail over the shape when drawing. Illustrator has a smooth tool which is great for smoothing out any ugly curves you may have made while using the pencil tool. All you need to do is to select your object and stroke the smooth tool over the path you want to smooth out. Not only will the path smooth out, but it would mostly reduce the number of points along your stroke to clean your path up. But be careful in doing so because it can also slightly alter the shape of your object afterwards. When working in black and white, there is no need to stick to a single object as your final silhouette. This means that you can build it simply with black filled overlapping shapes. In fact, if you plan on doing a lot of concept silhouettes, you could develop a simple library of body part shapes so you can quickly build yourself a unique creature or character. Sometimes when I get lazy, I use the simplify command which takes my path and simplifies it completely. It can be used in two ways. Firstly, you can draw a rough shape with a pencil tool. The simplify command will take your selected shape or points and simplify them to get rid of unnecessary points. Secondly, you can use the pen tool and create a quick, straight edged object, then simplify it to give you a more smoothed out version. It can sometimes leave you with corner points, but when you are trying to rough out a shape as fast as possible, that's the last thing that should matter. I have the simplify command set as an action because I use it so often. Unfortunately, you can't set it to a hotkey, so it needs to be set as an action. Everything in life can be broken down into simple shapes, and it is easy to create concept silhouettes in the same way. Just by using your ovals and rectangles, you can make a fairly decent silhouette. After that, you can merge all or some of the shapes and use the different tools to get a better form. While libraries of various body shapes are a good idea for making concept silhouettes, they are great in conjunction with art brushes. This means that you can take stock body parts like arms and legs and add them to your silhouette with just a simple line instead of fiddling with a complex shape. And because lines don't need to be straight, you can give your body part a curved element such as a bent leg or a curly horn. The purpose of this video was basically to show you that Illustrator can be used to make shapes quickly. 
As much as I love using Photoshop, I am more comfortable using a vector program sometimes. The sad thing is that it's a common belief that vector programs cannot be used as creatively as Photoshop, especially in concept art. But once you discover to play around with the various tools and pick up some neat tricks, Illustrator can do some incredible things. Art brushes themselves are testimony to this. True, you don't get the freedom to be able to paint like with a bitmap program, but the power of any tools comes from the imagination of the user. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Happy Adobe illustrating and see you next time.